Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we are joined by Lubo Mandich, who is the Chief Development Officer at Ergamon. As a leader in deep observability, Ergamon helps its customers to get the most out of their cloud, security, and observability tools across hybrid and multi-cloud environments to ensure they are in the best position to protect themselves from threats. Luboy joins us today to tell us more about Gugamon's strategy and what the company is focused on next. Thank you for coming along, Lubo, and welcome to the jam. Thank you so much, Zach. I appreciate the invite. It's good to talk to you today. So can you please uh, share more about Gugamon and explain your company strategy and mission? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for that. You already mentioned uh, uh, where we are right now in terms of a deep observability uh, journey, but you know, a little bit uh, of a background you know, we are a global company, obviously, uh, headquartered in Santa Clara. Uh, we have more than 4,000 uh, customers worldwide, uh, out of which 85% are the Fortune 100 uh, customers. So we are very, you know, obviously influential. We like to say we, we work in the most complex, most secure networks in the world. Um, and uh, we started as network visibility company and network monitoring, and then we evolved into deep, deep observability and I'll talk about that a little bit more, uh, but let me let me tell you what problems we are trying to solve because that will give um, your audience a little bit better idea of, of why we're doing what we're doing. So as you can imagine, all these enterprises are trying to run and scale their business, uh, innovate while staying secure, and that's not easy because as you as you know, growing the company and growing the business is very fast, and the attacks from outside are are bigger and bigger. Uh, obviously, every day in the news we read about uh, some cybersecurity attacks that is going on. But even without that, I mean, just running the business every day and innovate, um, it, it's very challenging a process for any IT and security department. Um, on top of that, people are doing it, in a, as you mentioned, in a hybrid cloud environment. And very often uh, that's in a, in a multi-cloud environment. So we, the research shows that 92% of the all worldwide enterprise are running some kind of a hybrid cloud. Uh, and 50 plus percent of that run in a, in a multi-cloud. So you can imagine that complex environment, especially now with a hybrid work environment where people are not staying at home, they're everywhere, they can work on a beach, they can be in a coffee shop at home, in the office, it's very complex uh, problem to solve. That's why we came up, came up with our product portfolio that comprised this deep observability pipeline. And as you mentioned, we are providing basically actionable network intelligence data so you can actually amplify the power of your hybrid cloud security and observability tools, if that makes sense. So when you have these actionable intelligence that you can feed your different tools that you have in your environment, and that could be, as I mentioned, on premises, in your data center, it could be any environment you, you desire. It's basically could be virtual, it could be uh, physical hardware, it could be cloud, it could be containers. So we play on that and then we feed it to any tools, whether it's again, your traditional SIEM tools or maybe observability tools. I also want to mention something which is not necessarily related to the products we do, but something that we in Gigamon we are very proud of. It's our one Gigamon culture, uh, which actually enables us to do what we do uh, because we really focus on getting the right things done for our customers and for our employees. And then one customer, one Gigamon culture is the, something that we are very proud of. When we interview people, when we hire people, when we talk to their customers, we always mention it because I think it's very important uh, to work in a culture that is uh, conducive to collaboration, producing great quality products, taking care of the customers, taking care of the partners. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that as well and not only talk about products. Hopefully Fantastic. that answers your question. Yeah, Fantastic. And in terms of development, can you tell us more about the areas that Gigamon is investing in? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, as I mentioned, we are a global company and a global company. And I have, uh, I, as you mentioned, I'm chief development officer, which means basically I'm running uh, research and development in Gigamon. Uh, and we have uh, global offices across the world. So all, as well, uh, development offices in Santa Clara and Chennai. Uh, so we, we, so we, we have a broad product portfolio which encompasses both hardware and software products. So as I mentioned, traditionally, we were a network visibility, network monitoring uh, company. We started as a lot of hardware, uh, high quality hardware products that we were known for. And then we forayed into the developing the cloud suite that we uh, talk about today. So the investments are both uh, in amplifying the, the and refreshing our the hardware product portfolio, 
um, as we as we have done in the past, and then also developing a, a huge cloud suite uh, that we actually play in a hybrid hybrid suite uh, hybrid cloud environment. Uh, we we call our operating system uh, cloud hybrid cloud operating system because it plays that way, um, and and basically that investments are really across the board. Whether it's hardware or software, we are taking the inputs from our customers. We have customer advisory boards, and then basically they tell us how to do stuff, and then that's where we invest. Awesome. And how does Figamon decide on what technology to invest in, and how far ahead do you generally kind of plan for? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great and challenging question to answer for. Uh, it's easy to discuss how we decide on technology, but how far ahead? That's a bit tricky, as you know. It's a fast paced. Uh, changing world that we that we live in, uh, so so the the technology to invest in is obviously over the years uh, with all these four thousand uh, strong customer base, we have really good close relationship, including obviously our partners, uh, and then we look into what's going on in the world, what are the needs of the customers, where they are going, and how far ahead they're planning, what their journey is, what their di digital transformation possibly is. So we kind of based on, on the input of the customers, then we decide on, on what we are going to do. Typically, we have three-year plan and one-year plan. Uh, one-year plan is basically just, you know, obviously one year uh, what we're doing. Uh, and then three year is more strategic looking ahead what the world trends are. We also partner with the research agencies uh, that basically tell us what's going on in the world. And that way we decide what, what we do. Of course, as I mentioned, it's a it's a it's a fast paced changing world. So we get some requests that that come in, and then we accommodate and prioritize and make sure that we can satisfy our customer. But typically, as I mentioned, uh, three year longer term plan, and then one year kind of more uh, specific detailed plan of the action for the year. And by the way, U.S. U.S. Uh, fiscal year is uh, calendar year as well. Just kind of to mention for your audience. As I know, it's different in, in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in terms of investing in the deep observability pipeline, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's a it's a it's an interesting area. Um, so the the how the best describe that is is we are as I mentioned providing the this actionable network items. So if you think about it, how that pipeline works is you have the environment whichever you're playing in. Uh, as I mentioned, it could be a virtual environment, it could be a physical data center, it could be uh, containers, any environment, cloud environment. Um, so you basically take the data that's coming in your network, and it could be as big a network as you want. As I mentioned, we serve some largest networks, whether it's uh, federal governments of the world, banks, hospitals, service providers. You can imagine these guys deal with a lot of data that needs to be uh, consumed and obviously keep secure. Uh, so you take that data. And then basically you aggregate data and then you forward through our, what we call deep observability pipeline, where we have a lot of smart processing going on so that we can give to the tools the data that they need, whether it's a security or you know, monitoring or any, any kind of uh, use case that our customer can, can uh, do. So the reason why this is important is that, you know, Pocket is really a source of truth, right? Um, so in, in, in the cloud, typically people uh, relied on a melt data and melt uh, is abbreviation for metrics, events, long set traces, which is really a great source of, uh, of, of the information. However, you know, what's missing in that, you know, stack is basically the packets and hence the, we, the word deep, because we are going to deep into, into stack, not only relying on melt, but also relying on the pack. So hopefully that explains for your audience. Yeah. Fantastic. And why is the deep observability pipeline crucial for hybrid cloud users? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned at the beginning, I mean, companies are, are running fast, uh, they're innovating, and just following that, and obviously, and staying secure in that environment is really challenging, right? So typically, in a, in a past, before Gigamon uh, started, companies would build network, and then visibility and observability was afterthought, in a way. Uh, and you know you would kind of fit it backwards in into what was going on in the networks. These days, uh, while you're growing, you have to see what's going on, and that's where, where this deep observability pipeline is is working really well. Because at any point in time, while you're adding your 
uh, scale to your network, then you're basically adding the visibility and observability to the network. And again, the, the, the hybrid cloud importance, as I mentioned, 92% of the global companies are saying that they have some sort of hybrid cloud. So that's just, you know, it, it's a must, if you will. So it's not your, or, you know, traditional on-prem data center. It's a really worldwide network that could be living anywhere. And whether it's a private or public as well. And you mentioned um, hybrid cloud as a big investment. Could you tell us more about what the market can expect to see from Gigamon and kind of the coming months and years? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, very exciting. We have very exciting pro uh, product portfolio. Uh, so right now, our our uh, uh, our business in a in a hybrid cloud is growing over hundred percent year over year. Um, so we are adding adding more environments to already mentioned environments. So it could be covering different private and public clouds like you know VMware, OpenStack, Nutanix, AWS, Azure, not to not to uh, name them all. But obviously we're expanding that. We are going wide um, in terms of the environments we cover, but we also go you know high up in terms of scale and performance because as I mentioned, it's important once you purchase the 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 that pipeline that you can extend it and you get performance and uh um and scale that you need in in your ever-growing environment so as I mentioned it's a mix of both the uh, hardware and the uh software products I also to mention uh which we didn't talk about uh is our we really have phenomenally good uh, support team uh, and obviously the customers love that because we have high touch um, so, so basically, our it's when I mentioned about deep deep observability pipeline, it's not only products; it's a culture, it's a support, it's a marketing team, it's a global effort. Um, so, I think as a, as a Gigamon, we are we are really strong partners to our customers. That's how we view ourselves. Uh, we are not viewing ourselves as a as a vendor um, only. We are considering ourselves as a partner. Awesome. Well, it has been great to find out more about Gigamon and all the exciting projects that you have lined up. Thank you so much for joining us on the Jam, Lubo. We look forward to hearing more from Gigamon soon. Thank you so much, Zach. Thanks for inviting me.